Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do the eyes and the beard next, and then we're pretty well finished with him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it. I marked where the eyes are going to be. These will not have eyelids to it at all. I figured I'm going to teach you how to <laughs> how to do the eyes. Now, you have a choice. You can leave it the way it is without the eyes, and it will look like this guy here, okay, without um, the hobo look. You can have a hobo praying Santa, or you can have just the praying Santa without his eyes being closed, but open. So that's what we're going to do here. So really, we're doing like a half circle, uh, as you can see there. I'm going to just sharpen up my knife a tad, so I'm ready to go here. Just bear with me for a second. It's a good idea to, um, to take a piece of leather and just drop your, uh, your knife oh every 20 30 minutes or so you know and take your time i'm going on either side about five or six times now i'll wipe off the blade a little bit because of the black res residue i don't need to make this any dirtier than it is so what we're going to do here is we're going to take the knife i'm going to try to show this to you in a way that um, you'll understand it we're going to take our knife and we're going to go straight down and we're going to follow that line. Okay? And then we're going to undercut first. Okay? I cut down into that line that we just cut. It doesn't come free, you do it again. Okay, I'm going to show you as much as I can one line here how to do this. Okay, then we're gonna then we're gonna take that little edge off and round up that eyeball a little bit. That's roughly what you should see. Okay, you see it merging. Okay, the other thing we're gonna do is um, make a little deeper cut here, right at the corner. All right, right at the corner. And we're going to take our knife and we're just going to try to do a little triangular shape there to shape the eye a little bit rounder. And same thing over at this corner. We're just going to try to round that eye a little bit all the way around. Let me look here and see if I got this right. Uh, hang on, bear with me just a second. Boy, really, if you have that that um okay see how we have that eye in there okay you want to do the same thing to this eye and i'll do this one offline so i can have a little more can concentrate a little bit more but you want to make sure all of it's cleaned up really well if it doesn't come out you just recut the eye again you know do that your stock cut in there again i get rid of this little piece here all right, so that's what your eyes should look like. See, he's looking straight up. And then go a little deeper here in the corners where, um, where the face is. All right. The other thing we want to do, too, is we just want to cut this out just a little further in. Just a little tad there. All right. That's already cut in, so we're good there. But again, we want to make sure those corners are cut in a little bit. We're trying to round, make that eye a little bit oval instead of just flat. You know, so it has a little bit of um, roundness to it. All right. So once you get done with that and do the other eye, then we're going to do the beard. And the beard's fairly simple. Uh, if you want to, you can draw it on. I'm just going to show you the layout that I'm doing. I usually do two or three going straight down like that. Okay. And then the beard, I kind of make it swiggly and, you know, make things match eventually. So what I do to do this is I take my knife from the very, that, that has to be cleaned out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. We don't want any debris in that nose area there. Alright. What I want to do is take my knife, 
hold it at an angle and I'm just going to go all the way down. Now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to come right back up. Okay. Now if I can't get all the way up here, what I'm going to do is do one side and then turn my blade to get that. Okay. So that's how those lines are put on. So I'm going to do the next line the same way. And then come back and recut it just like so. Okay, see how we have it? Then I'll put another one right in the center of that one. All right. And maybe go up a little further. That they blend in a little bit. Okay, if you make this too wet, you're not going to see the lines. Okay, then you may want to draw it on before you make it wet you want to do it that way that's fine okay so that's how we do the beard uh, the mustache and I'll do this side as well and then when I come down here I start doing some squiggly lines like you see here okay and turn it around and come back up be careful not to go into the lip area you know you make that a little deeper if you want that's up to you um, some people use a, a half round gouge and will gouge this out a little bit to give it a little more texture. You can do that as well. Um, I haven't shown you, I don't know if I've shown you how to do that on one of the other tapes or not. I can't remember. I've done, <laughs> I've done 32 tapes and I can't remember everything verbatim on them. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up doing the mustache um, and the eye and the beard on my own but uh, you just want to make squiggly lines and you want to make sure you come up all, on this side as well you know you're going to go all the way around okay and then when I come back you'll see a finished piece and then we'll start in the painting portion of it okay we'll be back